Hey guys, so as you know, I recently uh, made a post on Reddit about running SSX3 on the PCSX2 emulator, and I got a few questions about what kind of settings you need to be running um, in order to get that result. Uh, some people had some trouble with uh, red bars, low resolutions, etc. So I'm going to run through that real quick. It's not complicated. Um, Go ahead and load up PCSX2, uh, go to your config option and open your video plugin settings. And then set the adapter to your main discrete card, um, whatever you're going to be running it on. Uh, change the renderer to OpenGL hardware. Leave the interlacing at auto. Um, for your resolution, set it to something at 1080 or higher. Um, definitely 1080 or higher. Uh, I'm rendering at 4K, downsampling to 1080. Um, so I get that nice uh, anti-aliasing effect. Um, leave your texture filtering at PS2, change anisotropic filtering to 4x or better. Um, it's fine at 4x really, it, it, it's fine. Uh, CRC hack level, you want that to be aggressive so you don't get that weird grid um, that sometimes appears faintly over the game. Uh, that It definitely helps alleviate that and it, it almost completely removes it. Um, the important one though that you want to note here is uh, check hardware depth. Um, and make sure that's enabled. Uh, it, the hardware depth allows you to use um, or play play the game without those black or the the huge blue and red bars. Um, that that seems to fix it for me at least. Uh, and then for blending unit, um, if you have a fast CPU, definitely set it to high. It makes it look a little better. Um, it does kind of take a hit to your performance, but uh, I definitely think it's worth it. So I leave that on high. Um, check OK, and then go into your, go into the window settings, yeah, just the general settings, I guess. Um, and you go down here to speed hacks. If you have uh, a quad-core CPU or better, check the, uh, the multi-threaded micro VU one. Um, it'll help kind of speed up the emulation a little bit and give you less stutter. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and run the game and show you what it looks like, uh, for me at least. So you go to your ISO selector, select the game, um, and then boot it up. So I wish I could skip this part, but I can't. Um, so it's loading now. Uh, I just I just have the Xbox One controller plugged in, so um, all the mapping should go straight across. So I, as you can see up there, it looks pretty solid. Um, I'm getting about 60 frames, but it should be 59, put like 96, I think, which is um, the NTSC frame rate. So I'm gonna pick a character. Uh, and this is not your actual resolution. I think this is just like the resolution that it renders at internally, maybe. Um, but then this is what it actually looks like. So it's rendering at 4K and downsampling to 1600 by 900 right now. Um, so if you, you want to see up there, you can see where each one of those engines is running. So the, the graphics engine is running around 50%. Um, the motion engine, 30%. So that's, that's not bad. Um, it's definitely pulling right along. Um, but before we get too much further into this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the... Can I do that? Yeah. Yeah, turn the music off so that I don't get in trouble there. Game is not nearly as fun without the music, though. But yeah, so you can see it... It definitely does not have any problems with those settings. Um, I'm just go ahead and show you where it starts to slow down occasionally. Um, and you will see uh, sometimes those little lights to my left and right right now. Um, they're just going away. They will kind of shine through the terrain sometimes. That happens. It's not a problem. Just get used to it, I guess. Uh, I have not figured out how to fix that yet. But yeah, that should do it and you should be good to go. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any more questions. Uh, 
I will link my or a Reddit thread um, in the comments on YouTube. Uh, and if you have any content com or questions, go ahead and check it out, uh, post them up. And if we can't figure it out on that thread, um, head over to the PCSX2 subreddit. Um, they have a lot of active users and they can definitely help you out there. So thanks for watching. I'm Shields and have a good one.